I want to introduce you to uh, Angela McKelvey, who's joining us this morning, who's a foster parent. Angela, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good to have you on the program. Uh, the uh, Children's Aid Society has uh, dedicated the month of February to foster families. And um, we're going to meet a few uh, foster parents and foster families uh, this week, I believe, over the next little while. Uh, they wanted uh, you to come in because, uh, like, you're the, uh, the poster adult, I think, for, uh, for foster parenting around here, hey? Right, right. You uh, have been fostering children for 15 plus years now? 15 years, yes. Yeah. What first got you into it? Um, just on my love of kids and wanting to do something in my community that I believed in. And uh, as I approached retirement, that was sort of my game plan to uh, get into fostering and I approached CAS mm -hmm. to do it. Right. You have three uh, grown children? I do. I have right. three biological daughters. Yeah. And you just wanted to keep parenting. You enjoyed it that much. I enjoyed it that much. They were they brought a lot of joy into my life and yeah. it was something I wanted to keep doing. You had the full cooperation of your husband as well, right? He was interested I did. in doing this too. I did. We talked it over and decided that it was something we'd like to try. Is it is it something you need both people in on full Absolutely. full steam Absolutely. ahead? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're not in on it together, if there's any cracks in your marriage, they're gonna widen. You no have doubt. to be doing this together. So since that time you've fostered over eighty Children? I think about 80 children, yes. You've even adopted one full time. I did, yes. He came to me at 12 years old. Right. And uh, after four years, we decided that uh, he you would adopt that him. We, he sh we should make it permanent. Does yes. he still live with you now? Yes, he does. He's yeah. 22. He's going to college. Right. He's doing really well. Why, uh, why him? Why did you decide uh, you were going to adopt him? Because well, because once he'd been there for four years, we felt like it was a permanent relationship, I and mean, it should stay that way. Because it's not usually and, that long? Uh, no, not usually. Right. And the other thing, part of it was that there was no way we wanted to see him at 18 going out on his own. It's what happens to the kids if they don't have a family. Right. Then we want him to have a family. Right, right. How do you, uh, what's the toughest part of this? I mean, is it the saying goodbye to these kids uh, after a while? Absolutely, yes. When they leave, you, you feel some grief. It, you, you have to take a little space and time to, to get over that loss. I suppose then you have to understand at the same time what you're doing, That's what your right. function they, is those here. Those kids belong to someone else right. who loves them too, and uh, you're only temporarily their parent. Right, and you know that going in, oh, and you yes. have you to accept that, that, right? Yes, you know it going in, yes. Yeah. And, and the kids that you've fostered, I guess, are from all, you know, different circumstances along definitely, the way? Definitely, definitely. I've fostered children from uh, newborn to 18 years old, and they come from all different uh, experiences in their own lives. So it's uh, a, quite an eye-opener for me in terms of uh, learning about life. Yeah. What's your responsibility? What are the, you know, the, the outlines of your responsibility when it comes to being a foster parent? What are you told by the Children's Aid Society and what do you feel is your responsibility? Well, probably one of the first things is understanding the privacy of the people that come into my home. Uh, I sign a document that says that I won't share you know, anything personal about, personal about those families. Their circumstances yes. and so on. Yeah. And um, then uh, I got a lot of training because despite my parenting experience, the fostering is, is way different when There's you're looking at it. There's something different about it, yeah. Yes, there yeah. is. So training helped a lot. Are you there to, like, if the kids want to open up about their experiences, about their problems, about the things they're going through, you're there for that? Uh, yes, I am. In, and in and they, they may, want to. if they want to. Lots of times children keep everything about their families a secret. This is their personal thing. Right. And so you, you don't get, pry? I absolutely do not pry. If they Where want so to it's talk. different than, that's a big difference <laughs> when it's your own kids, right? Uh, well, I've learned a lot that I wish I, now that I might have known when I was parenting really? my own children. Yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, well, you, you live and you learn when it The comes more to you do it, the right? more you learn. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> is it something you're going to continue to do? Absolutely. As long as I'm in good health, uh, I'd like to continue. And, you know, I know there's maybe people out there watching today who are considering this, mm -hmm. who think it's a great idea. Yeah. What should they know going in, you know, so they can enjoy the experience that much more or, or turn away from it if, it if it's not for them? Well, I think it's to have an awareness that when children come into your home, they can't just adapt and be what you expect them to be. Right. They come, at, they're people, and when they come into your home, you have to get to know them and accept them. And with, if you can accept them, then the experience is much better because mm. they do come with some baggage and they do need a lot of understanding and patience. Yeah. And some of the experiences will be totally easy and others are going to be a big challenge. Some more difficult. And the most 
challenge presented to me was by the boy I adopted, and I and you kept never him. regretted it. <laughs> you ended up keeping him. <laughs> he's the most interesting. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. a great kid. They all have their stories, eh? And they, they all, all have their, have their, their situations yes. that uh, they've come from. Mm -hmm. So you're there to just get them through some you're stuff, You're a support right? for the whole family during the time that they're in care, and your hope is that the families can be reunited. That's the best thing for the kids. Well, I think what you do is uh, absolutely admirable, and uh, I want to congratulate you on uh, on just taking that challenge and 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 going with it. You and your husband there, you know, that's fantastic. I've never regretted it. We no. haven't looked back. <laughs> Isn't that something else, eh? Wow, uh, Angela McKelvey, thanks so much for coming in to see us today. No problem. And uh, you know, think about that, folks. Uh, Children's Aid Society. This is uh, celebrating foster families uh, this month here in this area, and I think it's a good thing to do. No question about that.